Hi guys, this is from module 15.2, angles and in inscribed quadrilaterals. Again, quad means four, so we're looking at um, basically uh, ingons that have four sides that are within a circle. And that's what inscribed means. Inscribed is really just inside a circle. All right, so our essential question is what can you conclude about the angles of a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle? Our shortest answer is if a quadrilateral is inscribed in the circle, again, that's inside the circle, um, then its opposite angles are supplementary. And again, what does supplementary mean? Supplementary means that the angles add up to 180 degrees. And there's my little pen issue that I have there. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So basically, the first thing that you need to know is the inscribed quadrilateral theorem. Basically, if a quadrilateral is inside a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. So for example, angle D and angle B would be supplementary. That means they would both have to add up to 180 degrees. So that means if D was, I don't know, um, 120 degrees, B would actually have to be 60 degrees. All right, that's useful in figuring out inscribed angles. All right, so if A was, let's say, 130 degrees, C would have to be 50 degrees. So that's basically what the quadrilateral, uh, inscribed quadrilateral theorem is basically saying there. And also, if you remember, a quadrilateral has to have the sum of 360 degrees. And that was from the past when we had the number of sides your polygon had, minus two times 180 degrees. And again, a foregon has four sides. So four minus two is two. And two times 180 degrees should equal 360 degrees. So that's just like a little footnote there. All right, so don't forget, it's still kind of connected to that concept that we learned already. All right, so again, supplementary angles are two angles with a sum of 180 degrees. All right, so that's a very important word there. Remember inscribed means inside a circle and quadrilateral quad means four. So just something to note there. All right, so here's a little bit of this. So angle A, angle C, right? And then that's a, just an example of how you would write it, okay, for supplementary angles. All right, so example one, find the angle measures of the inscribed quadrilateral. So basically we're just applying geometry, the theorem uh, for inscribed quadrilaterals, and then just using algebra to solve for our angles. So first things first, we do have some algebraic expressions representing our angles, and it looks like our variable is y. Tell me why. All right, so basically we're gonna apply our theorem. So first things first, I notice that angle P and angle R, those are on the opposite sides right, opposite angles, and they have to be supplementary. That means they have to add up to 180 degrees. So that means 15y, tell me why, plus 17. Okay, so again, angle R, uh, I'm sorry, angle QRS, all right, plus angle QPS have to add up to 180 degrees. So again, that's the general idea. So we have QRS, uh, angle QRS, uh, being 15y plus 17 plus angle QPS, which is 5y plus 3. And they all have to add up to 180 degrees. Combine like terms. All right, so we got that 20 there. And then 15y plus 5y is 20y. Tell me why. All right, equally 180 degrees. Subtraction property, and don't forget the law of equality or property of equality. Um, what you do to one side, do the other. Property of equality. And then how to get rid of a multiplying 20 on the left, right? Because we're isolating the variable, which is y. And then basically you should get y equals um, 8. So that's not our answer, though. Okay, so it's not like algebra where it's like, oh, there it is. There's, you know, y equals this. Um, no, this is geometry. And basically that means we just plug back in our values for y. Okay, we can plug it in there, we can plug it in here, 
So angle R or QRS uh, should be 15 times eight plus a 17. So that should be 120 plus 17. So this angle right here is gonna be 137 degrees. Now you could plug in uh, Y here, right? Five times eight plus three and you get 43. Or if you remember, um, basically angle QPS and angle QRS have to add up to 180. And you could always just do, well, 180 minus 137, and it still gets you the 43 degrees. So that's just something to kind of note there. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in um, 8 for the other angle. All right, that's 64 plus 53 degrees. And that should give you 117. All right, for there. And again, angle uh, PQR and angle uh, PSR should add up to 180 degrees. So to find angle PSR, all I really have to do is, again, 180 degrees minus the 117 that we got on the opposite side. And that should get you, and don't forget to carry the one, 63 degrees. So there you go. So again, knowing that theorem really does pay off in just solving and finding your angles. All right, example two. So here's another example. <laughs> Find the measures for the inscribed quadrilateral. Um, looks like uh, we're solving for x, right? Because x is going to give it to you. Da 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 da. Right? Knock knock, and I'll do it again. So here we go. Angle MJK. plus angle MLK all right and uh, should equal 180 degrees so we have um, I want to rewrite MJK 7x plus 39 degrees right plus angle MLK all right, which is 6x minus 15 equals 180 degrees. And the rest is just algebra, right? Combine like terms. So I'll combine the constant terms, 39 minus that 15. <clears throat> you should get 24. And then the 7x plus the 6x, 13x. And that should be equaling 180 degrees. Subtraction property. Just don't forget what you do to one side, do the other, right? So we got 13x equaling 156. And then division, right? Because how do you get rid of a multiply and 13? You multiply, and again, what you do to one side, you do to the other. And you should get x equals 12. So again, that is not your answer. You are in geometry, not algebra anymore. So we actually just plug it back in. Um, let me grab my calculator real quick, just because this kind of math, well, it's 84 plus 39. And, um, so 12 times 7, that's 84 plus the 39, and that's 123. So what, really what I'm doing right now in my calculator is 7 times the 12, right? Because x is 12 plus the 39 degrees, and I got 123 degrees. <clears throat> now, if you want, you could plug back in uh, 12 for here. Or if you remember the property, you know that they both, those opposite angles have to add up to 180. You already found the 123, so you can just subtract it, and you should be able to get 57 degrees. There we go. So that's 57. All right. So now we already found x for here, so that's 20 times 12, then divide by 3. So I think that's 240, 12, uh, 20 times 12. Yeah, 240, and then divide by three. And you should get 80 degrees. Very nice. And if he's 80 degrees, this guy has to be um, 100 degrees. All right. So again, use the property, and the rest is algebra. All right, so here's your only your turn uh, that you have for the video. 
Um, find the angle measures, just like the last two examples. Your variable is Z and the rest is just algebra. And have a great day. And if you guys have any questions, um, come see me.